All right, I want to say, I want to go to Brazil in French language. I want to go to the Brazil. Let me check it out. Oh, what is this AU here? I don't know. All right, just forget about it. I want to say, the Queen of the UK. The Queen of the UK. That should be it. What is this DU here? I really don't know what these are. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another day of learning French language in the Department of Analysis. Today, we want to talk about prepositions. But more precisely, we want to see the reaction of these two prepositions when there is a definite article right next to them. So, let's enjoy this beautiful day together. And please, do not forget to support me by sharing and subscribing. All right, now it's time for a short preview. Let's see what we have today. Let's start with basics. What is a preposition? A word governing and usually preceding a noun or pronoun and expressing a relation to another word or element in the sentence. Well, I understood nothing actually, but um, let's check a few examples together. I'm sure it's gonna be clear. Are you afraid of the dark? Okay. John is at home. All right. And she is going to... LA. All these yellow words are prepositions. Loud and clear. Now let's talk about a. What is it and what does it mean? It's a preposition that has numerous uses. It generally means to, at, or in. But that is not exactly what we are supposed to learn today. We want to see the reaction of a when there is a definite article right next to it. Let's start. If the preposition is a plus the definite article le, I can see a magnet sign here. It means that there is a combination between these two elements. I mean, the preposition and the definite article. So the result is o. Next one. The preposition is a and the definite article is la. No sign of a magnet. No combination is needed. The result is a la. Next one. The preposition is a and the definite article is l. Once again, no sign of a magnet, so no combination is needed. The result is al. And the last one. The preposition is a and the definite article is le. And we do have a combination here, so the result is o. Good. Now let's talk about de. What is it and what does it mean? It is also a preposition that has numerous uses. It generally means of, from, or about. Now let's see what is the reaction of de when there is a definite article right next to it. If the preposition is de and the definite article is le. So we have a combination and the result is Du. When the preposition is de and the definite article is la, we do not have a combination. So the result is de la. And if the preposition is de and the definite article is l, we don't have a combination here and the result is de l. And the last one, if the preposition is de and the definite article is le. We do have a combination here, so the result is de. Awesome. Coming up next, a few examples to understand how to use whatever we learned by now in action. (laughs) 
Now you might be asking, all right, the table was somehow understandable, but how can we use them? I mean, is it something practical or is it just something on the book? Well, no, it is actually absolutely practical. That's why we want to check a few examples together to see how French people apply the previous rule when they speak. Imagine I want to say, I want to go to the park. I Je want the to go aller to a the le park. park. Now, if you are wondering why I chose le as the definite article, please check this video for free. Here I can see the preposition a plus le. So as I understood, we need to combine these two. So the correct sentence is... Je veux aller au parc. Good, good. Another example. I want to say, I want a tomato pizza. I... Je... Want... The... A... Une... Pizza... Pizza... A la... Tomato. Tomate. All right, I can see a plus la and no combination is needed. The sentence is already correct. Je veux une pizza à la tomate. Another example. I want to say, I go to the Hotel Stella. I Je go vais to the Hotel Stella. À l'Hotel Stella. I can see A plus L apostrophe. Well, no combination is needed. The sentence is already correct. Je vais à l'Hotel Stella. And the last example, I want to say, I want to go to the United States. I Je want the to go aller to a the les United States. Etats Unis. Now I can see a plus le, and we do need a combination here. So the correct sentence is Je veux aller aux Etats Unis. Phenomenal! Now let's check a few examples about de. Imagine I want to say the bike of the professor. The le bike vélo of de the le professor. Professor. I can see de plus le. We do need a combination here, so the correct sentence is Le vélo du professeur. Another example, I want to say the door of the house. The La Door Porte Of De The La House Maison La Porte de la Maison Another example, I want to say the room of the hotel. The La Room Chambre Of De the hotel. L'hôtel. I can see de plus L apostrophe. And I do not need any combination here. So, the sentence is already correct. La chambre de l'hôtel. And the last example. I want to say the toys of the children. The. Les. Toys. Jouets. Of. De. The. Les. Children. Enfants. I can see de plus le. So we do need a combination here, and the correct sentence is Les jouets des enfants. Now there is only one more thing that I want to explain. If you wanted to say some in French language, you can use any of these. It might seem confusing, but let's check a few examples together. Imagine I want to say I eat some bread. Je Mange. Here, I need to say some. I'm going to use du plus the word pain, which means bread. Now, why did I use du while I had four options? Because the word pain is a male word. So, the article is le, and I cannot use any other option. Now, what if I want to negate this sentence? Something changes. Let's check it out. Imagine I want to say, I don't eat bread. In this case, je 
Ne mange pas. And in case you want to learn how to negate any verb in French language successfully, check this video. Let's continue. Je ne mange pas. I cannot say du once again here because now the sentence is negative. So I am only authorized to use de, like there's no article after that. And the word bread will be repeated. So je ne mange pas de pain, not du pain. Another example, I want to say I drink some beer. Je bois de la bière. Why did I choose de la? Well, because the word beer is a female word. Now, if I want to negate it, I would say Je ne bois pas de bière. We eliminated the definite article. Another example. I want to say I have some money. Je ai de l'argent. Why did I choose de L apostrophe? Well, because the word argent starts with a vowel, which is A. Now, if I want to negate this sentence, I would say Je n'ai pas de argent. I eliminated the definite article. And the last example, I want to say I buy some fruit. Je achète des fruits. Why did I choose des? Well, because the word fruit is in plural in French form, actually. So that's why I chose de plus le, which together they will be de. Now, if I want to negate the sentence, I would say je n'achète pas de fruits. Once again, as you see, I did not use de. Because when we negate the sentence, we cannot use the definite article after de. That was all. Alright, it's time for our new verbs. Let's start with to help. Aider. J'aide. Tu aides. Il aide. Elle aide. On aide. Nous aidons. Vous aidez. Ils aident. Elles aident. Next one. To watch. Regardez. Je regarde. Tu regardes. Il regarde. Elle regarde. On regarde. Nous regardons. Vous regardez. Il regarde, elle regarde.
All right, my friends, that is the end of another beautiful day of our journey, the Department of Analysis. Today, we learned everything about the combination of two prepositions and definite articles. Thanks for watching, and I hope you liked this episode. Please, do not forget to support me by sharing and subscribing. And if you want to learn everything about articles in French language, check this video. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next time!